Hey guys, Devin Mason here and today we are looking to smash 30,000 calories. So anyways, uh, just a few ground rules for the challenge. We are not doing liquid calories uh, and also we are going to complete this in under 24 hours. And hopefully you guys can see this. It is 7.18 a.m. right now. So we are getting kind of a later start on this than I would have liked. But hopefully you get through it. And the reason we are doing this is because my older brother just went through his Olympic uh, weightlifting meet. So without further ado, I'll let him introduce himself a little bit. My name is Jacob. I'm uh, Dev's older brother. Over the last two weeks, I've probably eaten under 15,000 calories. So my stomach's not exactly ready for this. But, you know, I'm one of those people you got to push yourself. And I don't think this is actually making us better than anything. But... Loki excited, Loki not at all. So, <laughs> well, anyways, uh, I will throw up the macros on screen for every meal we do eat. Without further ado, we're gonna hop into a time lapse. We probably should never say the word throw up because that is that is just bad yeah. foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so we are back with meal number two of the day. Uh, let me show you the time really quick. Hopefully you guys can see this once again. I know it is kind of hard. There we go, 8.41. Uh, anyways, we are going meal number two is to the donuts. It's not a cheat day without the donuts whatsoever. So, uh, like I said, with the macros, I'm tracking all of those in my fitness pal, and I am just doing both my or brother, my brother and I's uh, macros in the same day, so you guys will be able to see that. Anyways, I'm ready to get forward with some donuts. We got the blueberry dunkers, and someone already took a bite of this. That's messed up, Quick Trip. Just kidding, that was made before. And then we got some jelly filled ones, also from Quick Trip, and then a whole boatload of random ones from Dunkin'. So, let's get going. Without further ado, stop in. <laughs> They did pretty well on the donuts. Show you the time once again. It's 8.56. Well, oh, that's a focus. June 24th, you can't quite see it. Just because of the camera not focusing. But anyways, what did you eat, Jacob? I had three dunkers. Didn't have any jelly fills. And I had a coffee roll and some sugar, or powder sugared one. And that one was awful. Yeah, so I got through one of these 
blueberry dunkers, then two jelly filled, which are 480 calories each, so that should help us get through the day quite a bit. <laughs> and then also, uh, I had a strawberry sprinkle, as you guys saw, uh, vanilla long john, and an apple fritter. But that's about where I'm going to cut it off for now, because we are going to try and go work out with all this food in our bellies. Time to get a good pump and hopefully <laughs> work up an appetite, but we'll see you guys in the gym. Got him, boy. Reset, reset. Let's go. One more. Come on. Let's go, finish it. Oh, boy. Two more. Two fifty, sit and rip. Woo! Nice job. What we got? So it's four four minutes and seven seconds. Seven seconds. see that very well but whatever we have a little over 23,000 calories left so we're not in a good spot right now <laughs> so it's gonna be a last last minute cramming coming up but we got 10 servings of pancake mix eight servings of chocolate chips a little large uh, DiGiorno's three meat pizza but we have a scoop of protein powder in there so this is automatically healthy and then we're doing a serving of syrup on each, and you go. And much. then also, I got about three to four servings of peanut butter on the pancakes. So without further ado, we need to start eating, because otherwise we are not going to make this one. And I am going to add a serving of syrup uh, to my pancakes as well. But I guess we're going to do a time lapse once again. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
pizza. And I got that. Honestly though, the savory is so much better than sweet. Definitely recommend if you're ever doing one of these challenges or ever want to eat a ton of food, go savory over sweet. Yeah, donuts suck. I don't know if you can see Dev back there or not. He's gonna snack on some Oreo carrot cake. I don't even know what those are, but kinda sound good. And I got some kettle corn. Jacob was not very smart, and on the way back home last night at like 11, 11.30, this bag was like double the size. And I decided to snack on it the whole way home. So we only got four ounces of kettle corn, but we'll finish this off. And we're on our way to BK, so. Talk to you in a bit. All right. We said two whoppers, and this bag feels like it's a thousand pounds. So I guess we'll see how this goes. But good old classic BK. It has been a minute, that is for sure. We are done with the cow corn. Whoppers are gone and everything. I don't know if you can see that or not. We just got to Costco. Dev's not feeling the greatest. You know, there's those little baby barf, whatever burps. She was trying to educate me on that terminology, but we're gonna stretch the legs out and grab some chicken bakes. I don't know about it, but we'll see. I'm not feeling it. Uh -huh. All right, made it out of Costco. Dev got a churro. I got a churro and a chicken bake. We're moving. Maggie's still observing, but it is a beautiful day in Grafton, Wisconsin. I'm gonna rain, it'll be fun. All right, take a bite. Mm. How's it taste? Well, I didn't get any chicken yet. Well, anything other than dough. Let's get this bread. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this bread as well. But there's some chicken in there. <laughs> All right, give it a little. Deb, how are you feeling? Not so great. <laughs> Take a bite. <laughs> this is the size of like a small baby. <laughs> and it's just gonna sit my stomach like that too. And my stomach does not have room for that. I currently feel like I'm like six months pregnant. And if I fall over, I'm not gonna be able to reach the floor anymore and be like a upside down turtle. Not a fan. Alrighty, so I finished off the churro somewhere back here. Got it right there. Anyways, just wanted to give you guys a time update. It is 4.38. Uh, we're about 17,000 calories in, so we got another like 13,000 to go, which sounds pretty brutal. But we got some secret weapons coming up. And anyways, that'll conclude about four and a half pounds of the secret weapon. <laughs> anyways, that'll conclude meal number four. So I'll put those macros up on screen after this video. I think the, the weather is going to foreshadow like this whole thing. You know, it's been sunny and nice all day, and literally what's about to happen is that. It is yeah. about to just rain down on us. Alrighty, so it is a little after 5 now, and uh, I just picked up these trolley Sour Bites and have been kind of snacking on them. And they do have 110 calories per serving, and then there's six servings in this pack. And I should be able to finish this one off. I think I just have about a serving left now. But anyways, we have just been running around from grocery store to grocery store looking for something that looks good and will sit better than those doughy churros and chicken bake that we had at Costco. All right, so we're in a little situation because it's a little after 6 p.m. We got about 12,000 calories left. Dev finally finished his bag of trolleys back there. We're running some errands, so falling a little behind, but I'm finally able to breathe and not want to throw up. So that means we're gonna try to put down a bag of trolleys. And yeah, I mean, six hours left, 12,000 calories. This is when champs are made, so it's grind time. And just to make Maggie happy, I'll uh, catch you guys up next. Alright, how is it? Really good.
explain what you got because that other We got a large cheese curd. Wisconsin favorite right here for sure at Culver's. And then also a crazy for cookie dough concrete mixer. Looks a little bit ugly presentation wise, but should taste really good. And this thing runs about 1,700 calories. So if we can put this down, we're making a good dent in that 12,000. How many calories on the cheese curds? Right over a thousand too. So hopefully we can put 3,700 down. Like nothing, these cheese curds do actually taste really good, surprisingly. And Jacob's stomach with the trolleys not feeling the greatest, so me and Deb are probably gonna end up swapping a little ways through. I'll finish some cheese curds off. He'll help me out with the trolleys. So, but that's another yeah, over 2,000 calories down, almost 3,000. So we're moving. We're moving. We're getting Alrighty, so we're coming down to the home stretch of this bad boy. Uh, as you guys can see, it is currently 9.04 p.m. Uh, we're right around 23,000 calories, I believe. We have another 7,000 or so to go. Uh, we did knock down that concrete mixer, overs, empty bag of those cheese curds, and then also that second bag of trolleys got finished. So my plan of attack is to snack on some of these uh, kettle cooked barbecue chips and then Jacob's got his own attack. I will show you but we've got a lot of bacon and when I say a lot like we got a pan of some bacon and it is some thick stuff. 115 calories, 11 grams of fat, 3 grams of protein a slice and we're just going to mow that down and see where we get. So I guess we'll see you towards the end of this night. <laughs> Be back in a bit. Alright, what do we got, Jacob? We got 18 slices of bacon, 115 calories a strip, so we're at a little over 2,000 calories, and we are about to mow this down. So, time to I decided bacon is not the move for me. Maybe I'll have a slice or two, but I'm just going to stick to those kettle pick chips and try and knock out as much as I can possible. Oh, we're going to finish that bag because I'll help out on that a little bit too. We'll see if we finish that bag. <laughs> Alright, Dev's not exactly uh, handling this the greatest. We'll say the food's not traveling through him extremely well. So, it is 10 o'clock. He's going to try to nap for about an hour. Hopefully he feels better at the end. We thought we were at 23,000 before I ate the bacon. We were not. We were just over 21. And that bacon was just over 2,000 calories. So we're at 23 and some change. I'm going to finish six servings of this. That'll uh, be just over 900 calories. That'll put us at 24,000 and some change, which gives us about uh, 6,500 to uh, uh, 5,500 uh, calorie push in that last hour. So we're saving it to the last minute. Hopefully he's feeling better because I can't do 6K by myself in an hour. But we'll see what happens, and I'll keep you guys posted. All right, so I just woke up from my nap. We currently have 45 minutes <laughs> left. We have, we have about 6,000 calories left after finishing off that bag of kettle cooked chips. 5,730 to be exact. We're going to polish off the rest of the tiramisu. That'll leave us with 4,050 calories left, which means I'm going to eat two Pop-Tarts, and then I'm going to have Maggie and my mom scoop out nine servings of Coconut Explosion. Three quarters um, of the Yeah, three quarters of this thing. Um, and then Deb's going to finish the cheesecake. So, Deb, how do you feel about that? Not so great. <laughs> I swear to God, if you movement. throw off, I'm going to kill you. Alright, so we'll put this on the time lapse and time to get moving. We're gonna be brutal. And this is where we're throwing in the towel. 
with this one I'll calculate out the macros so uh, and we'll do another video clip to kind of conclude but at this point the eating hurts before even eating unlike throughout the day you kind of hurt after eating and there is a reason this is a calorie challenge and I think we bit off a bit more than we can chew quite literally <laughs> in this one so no longer gonna need to fight the urge of throwing up onto the food I'm shoveling into my mouth so we are throwing in the towel and yeah and quite honestly I can't say I want to come back to this one and try it again anytime soon this was uh try it one time say we did it and never ever come back to it we'll probably do like a food challenge throughout the summer like uh eat all this in one meal but not 30,000 calories throughout the day this is awful not a chance but anyways i will calculate the macros roughly of what we've eaten and we will have one more clip before this video ends adios so we threw the towel in, obviously, took the L and finished with 26,775 calories. I pretty much carried this kid the entire day, and just kidding, on the MyFit, uh, MyFitnessPal app or whatever, uh, it came out. Apparently, I ate 51% of today's totals. I had how many calories? 13,000. 13,532 and he ate 13,243 but there's definitely a little give or take there because like we were trying to share like the trolleys and I tried to have one bite of this cheesecake and I swear to god this is everyone else in the room loves it but like I thought it was the most sour thing in the world and I almost threw up like before I even swallowed the first bite of it so <laughs> At this point, our food palettes are kind of way off compared to what they normally be. And yeah, after this uh, nice day of eating, it's going to be a nice long cut for me. <laughs> Get back in shape and take some of this off. This and neither of us were really amply prepared for this because I'm at the end of a dirty bulk, so my appetite's kind of gone. My stomach's big, but I really don't care to eat anymore. And he's coming off of a cut. This is the size of my stomach coming into this. Thir I didn't eat 13,000 calories for two weeks in total coming into this. Like the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday before my meet, which was just on Saturday, so two days ago, I ate probably under 1,000 calories total. Yeah. So my stomach was not ready for this. And all of my senses right now are messed up. Because I was trying to eat the ice cream at the end. He had these Cajun nuts that he was eating. That's all I could smell. All I could taste was the cinnamon pop tart that I just finished. And I was trying to scoop this coconut ice cream into my mouth, and I just wanted to smack my head against the table and call it quits. So. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess it was quite the experience. It was a fun day. Hopefully the bowels make their moves throughout the night. <laughs> we can relieve some of this pressure. Because I'll just show you guys quickly <laughs> what my abdominals are working with. Just to give you an idea. And this is this is completely just normal, no pushing it out at all. So yeah. I'm stuffed to the brim. That's why we're calling it quits. But hopefully you guys stay going to enjoy the shenan shenanigans today. Without further ado, I guess this one concludes. If you got guts and a buddy that's as dumb as you are, try it and let us know how it goes. So, no liquids and yeah, just go ham. Recommendation start at midnight of the one day and go until midnight of the next day instead of starting at 7 a.m. Because we had another seven hour window, we might be okay, but yeah, the food would not stay down if we actually finished this night. So, Catch you next time.